Hello, my name is Fiona Stanton from Feast Papercraft and today I want to show you a quick video on a sampler we created for our swap at On Stage on April the 13th. Uh, if you don't know, On Stage is our um, annual or biannual convention where we all get together as demonstrators, we see new catalogues, we play with new stuff, we meet all some amazing people and um, we do swaps and that is basically you either do a card front or a 3D item and you go around the room and you swap and you get loads and loads of brilliant ideas. I mean, the creativity in that room is amazing. Um, so as a team, there are, uh, I'm part of the Stampin' Acorns, which is Fiona Whitten's team in um, uh, in Crothorn. And there's nine of us were going and so we said we're going to do a sampler swap, which means a sampler is a, um, I'll show you one, now this is a sampler, this is one I did a while ago using the Rooted in Nature set and it's about showcasing either colours or showcasing a stamp set and just different uh, techniques and different things you can do. It's obviously based from, you know, traditional uh, embroidery samplers, that kind of thing. So the idea with the sampler swap is that we all do nine squares, uh, we swap them and we have one for ourselves and we get eight other uh, squares from other people and we can put it into a 12 by 12 frame and we have our um, sampler and so the parameters of that was uh, all colors only so we had to use poppy red calypso coral uh, pool party so and so saffron and basic white and black so this is what i came up with this is using um, the tropical 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 chic set and die set and i just wanted to show you a quick technique with a stamparatus because obviously i'm doing nine of these um, and so it's 18 of these flowers of die cut and stamp and there's a nice way with the stamp apparatus that you can use um, that will help you um, <clears throat> so with this technique what we're going to do so I've got everything lined up I'll show you how I did it and I've got one already done there oh look right so turn that around So the important bit to remember is to remember how your car stock is lined up. Now this is why I did it, let me turn it around. You want to have right angles so you can make sure you can get this absolutely accurate. Uh, because at the, the, the first stages of this, accuracy is key. And then after that, you don't have to worry too much. So what I'm going to do, let me get some colour. We'll do so saffron. All right. So I'm just going to ink up my stamp, as you would normally with your stamp apparatus, and stamp it. doesn't really matter what colour you do. Now the other thing I did as well was I put, um, obviously this is a new stamp set to me, so I've still got the paper back in. And sometimes keeping those can be quite useful, because if I wanted to move that stamp, because I may not do this swap all in one go, I wanted to move it. So I wanted to know where I put the stamp, because like I said, accuracy is, is important. So with a little bit of just tear and tape, I just stuck that on where the stamp was. So if I wanted to remove that stamp and use it for something else, I could. So we know now that we've got this on the bottom line and right over there. So now we're going to die cut that out. And again, it's really, really important that the die cutting bit of it is absolutely accurate. The better you can get this, then the better everything else will be. So, put that there, get my die. Use some tape if you want to. What well, is important, the stamped image itself isn't important. What's important is that the actual die cut is as accurate and it's where you want it to be. So take your time, use tape, but it's important that these initial steps are done uh, properly. Okay, so let me just take that out. Let's see what we've got. Oh, stuck that to there. Let's get that out of the way, we don't need that set, that set anymore. Uh. Don't need that. Bring my stamp apparatus back in. Okay, so now we line this back up. Uh, 
Now you put that back in, that's been die cut pretty accurately. I'm pretty happy with that. Okay. Oop, I can't get it out now. Okay, and I think it's probably better. Let me just see. Yeah, so I'll use that hole. It's better than what I did yesterday. So now what I've done is I've die cut 18 flowers out of white cardstock. And now what I can do, I can place that in there, ink up my stamp. Stamp that. And there you go. I've got a perfect image. Perfect image, perfectly die cut. And this is a quick and easy way to do it because I can uh, I can die cut 18 of these in nine passes. I can just, um, you know, it doesn't matter where I place it down the car so I can, can fold it in half, die cut it out so I can get do it to each passing. I don't need to worry about lining things up. It's a lot quicker and simpler. If I get this step done first and make sure this is accurate so everything lines up, then all I'm doing is putting my uh, flowers in and stamping away. Right, let's do... Another one. Oh, it's a notepad. I should have stamped a poppy one, shouldn't I? Never mind. That one was already yellowy, I think. Okay, and I can keep on doing it. It's a little tricky print. And as long as my car stock stays in the right place, I'm going to get perfect flowers. And I can keep on going. That's going to hold it in place. Keep on, keep on going. And I can keep doing that until I've got all my 18 flowers stamped. And so simply what I did, it was the right way around, is I die cut that out. So this is a piece, let me just show you the die set again. So that is a whole piece and then I just die cut that bit out in blue, stuck that over. Added a few flowers in saffron, yellow saffron and poppy red, then added some of the real red gems on to finish my piece off like that. And so that'll be my swap using the Tropical Chic um, stamp set and bundle. Um, this will be carrying over into the 2019-20 catalogue, but it won't be a bundle, there'll be individual items. So if you want to get the 10% discount, you best get it before um, the end of May. And it'll, you get a 10% discount for buying it as a bundle. At the, but when it goes into the new catalogue, it'll be individual items. So you'll be paying full catalogue price for each element. But it's a really nice set and I think you can do a lot with it. I might do another video with this set later on. Okay, so that's Fiona Stanton. That's my swap for On Stage this April. I hope you liked it. And I will, once um, I've put my sample together for all the other bits and pieces, I will show you a picture. I'll tag that onto the end of the video. I normally blog about my videos as well, so be my blog as well. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.